Hey everyone, this is Kieran from the Musculoskeletal Clinic. Today's exercise is looking at an ulnar nerve glider and slider. And so if you've been having any sort of pins and needles, numbness around this area here, or you get like a burny pain, um, stabbing pain, sharp pains, things like that, then you might find this exercise useful for you. So with our ulnar nerve, we're starting to think about the separation of nerves in the arm, okay? Now, you've got a handful of nerves and you've got some primary nerves. And these nerves just promote messages to the muscles so that you can do things. And they also receive sensory input so you can feel things. And that sensory input could be a whole bunch of things. Now, why would a nerve start to be symptomatic? So there could be adverse compression going on. It could be having difficulties with um, the, the flow of fluid within it. There could be uh, blood flow, so intraneural pressure, could have this, say an external pressure, could be reducing that blood flow. Um, you could have adhesions, so issues with uh, sensitivity between the interface of a nerve and a muscle sliding against each other. Um, if you want to get a little bit more into some of the details, I talk about this a bit more in the median nerve slider exercise video, so you can dive into that. But essentially, if you think about dental floss, that floss has to move and it's going to touch the teeth. It's going to rub up against it, right? The nerve is doing the same thing as it's sliding through your tissue. It's just, it can get sensitive to that and it can be for various reasons, okay? Now, if you've been diagnosed with a neurodynamic issue, then, and, and typically there's gonna be some other things going on. This won't be the magic bullet, but it'll get like a, like a pie chart. It'll take care of a wedge of say, what's contributing to your symptoms, okay? So a couple sort of pointers around how we prescribe these things. The nerve's gonna move most towards um, the joint that's moving, and it's also gonna move the most around the joint that's moving. We're not gonna encourage a stretching of the nerve because that's not what gets the therapeutic effect. When we compare sliders, and tensioners in the research. The sliders are analgesic and the tensioners not so much. So we don't really need to do that and a nerve can't stretch that much anyway. So the, the benefit of trying to stretch a nerve just doesn't make sense. We're talking like 3% type thing. What we're looking at is more what's called excursion and that's that ability for it to slide. It kind of starts kind of cramped up and, and folded as a nerve and as you lengthen it, it starts to pick up that slack and then it starts to have to slide against other tissue. With our ulnar nerve, it comes down into here, into this intermuscular septum, slides under the inside of the elbow here, and then underneath this flexor carpi ulnaris, okay? Slides into the hand here through Guillaume's um, tunnel underneath that hook of hamate, and it gives the strength into these two fingers for your grip. So you might be feeling symptoms through here or through here, okay? Sensation up and through here is from a different set of nerves. So, we're thinking about what's gonna make this the longest, right? This is your reference point. So if I do this with my hands, so I've turned my palm that way, coming down like this, and then I tilt my head like this, now that nerve is on full stretch. We don't need to go here, okay? I've got this to support my muscles so that my muscles can relax a little bit, and that nerve has the ability to be the thing that's mostly moving, and my muscles aren't creating adverse tension, right? Not a bad thing in the future, but right now you might start with some support. So if I have symptoms, say, around here, right, I wanna have a therapeutic effect in that area, so I need to create, if I'm tolerant to it, I wanna create some movement there so the nerve is improving its excursion or sliding. So that means my wrist has to go into some extension, okay? Typically, I'm gonna be a bit pronated here. That's gonna increase that movement. But this movement is going to be therapeutic around this area. Now, if I just do that, that's still a slider. It's a one-ended slider. One-ended being I'm moving one joint. If I wanted to add in two things, so a two-ended slider, that's where there's more excursion. It's uh, increased forces, so it's potentially more um, uh, provocative than a one-ended slider but it'd be a progression of exercises. So with a two-ended slider, you wanna 
shorten one end of the nerve and lengthen the other end of the nerve. So in this case, if I'm moving my wrist this way, I'm lengthening the nerve here, but I need to shorten it here. So I'm gonna tilt my head this way, and now I'm shortening it at the neck, okay? Then I gotta do the opposite. So I'm gonna shorten at the wrist by doing that, and then I'm gonna lengthen at the neck by doing that, which looks quite funny actually. But this kind of movement is creating a two-ended slider, okay? And it's encouraging that ulnar nerve to slide and glide against muscles and, and some of the bone through here, and it's gonna desensitize it over time, okay? And, and, and basically improve that mechanical interface, okay? So other joints that could be involved, elbow, got my shoulder girdle as well. If I depress my shoulder, if I bring it down, then that's gonna create um, lengthening through the nerves. If I elevate like this, then that's gonna create a little bit of shortening, okay? If my elbow, in this case, is flexed, that's gonna lengthen the nerve, and if I straighten it here, it's gonna shorten it. And so I can manipulate these variables. Say I'm symptomatic in here, and I don't wanna create um, uh, more symptoms because it's too irritable. Maybe I can move the elbow component, right? So do I do this pronation, keep the wrist as it is, and now if I straighten the elbow as a one-ended slider, it's gonna still be moving around the joint of rotation, right? So I can still get this ulnar nerve sliding towards this area, which means it's moving away from this area. So there's like an, uh, a less direct movement going on, but it can still be therapeutic for the wrist. I could put the nerve on a little bit of stretch here, and then I could go this way. So that's gonna shorten it through here. And as I bring it this way, now it's moving towards the elbow, okay? So the focus becomes the elbow, so it would be less symptomatic up around the wrist, okay? So a few things to think about, and it means that there isn't so much a right or wrong, it just means you have to um, manipulate it to how your symptoms are, and that feels like that's a bit over your head, then by all means, get in touch with the local physio, or feel free to reach out to me, um, and we can try and make sense of uh, these issues for you. If you like this video, then please hit like below. Otherwise, to check out more of our content in the future, you can subscribe to our channel by clicking our logo over here. And to check out our latest video, click up here.